Hey Rabbits, it's Trixie and I'm here with Eric again because we are going to play a game. Not so long ago I uploaded a video in which I was guessing Austrian slang words and well, I didn't do such a good job. I really sucked at that. So this time I figured I wouldn't even leave the country for slang terms. I would just choose a certain region of Germany and make a game out of that. Because every region of Germany kind of has its own slang terms. It cannot be so difficult to Guess them, right? I mean, we are all Germans, we should understand each other. So what is all this fuzz about? Eric and I are gonna guess slang words that are used in Berlin. We both live close to Hamburg, so let's see if Fischköppe like us can guess them right. Do I as a German actually understand people living in the capital city of Germany? Let's figure it out today. Since Eric is not from Germany but from Venezuela, it would be a bit unfair to make this whole thing a challenge. So it's gonna be a game, but we're not gonna get points for guessing a term right or not. Let's just see if a foreigner can actually guess slang terms from Berlin as good as a person coming from Germany. Of course, as always, you can play along with us. Let us know in the comments how well you did. So here we have all the words we found and we're gonna try to find uh, some randomly selected ones and we're gonna try to Guess what they Guess mean. Guess what they mean, yeah, exactly. So round number one, starting now. This one here. What is it? Mit Schmackes. Mit Schmackes. <laughs> Schmackes, okay. Do you so know what that means? It's like with Schmackes. With Schmackes? That, that sounds to me something like with strength. With, yeah. With like, with force. Do that with Schmackes. It's like, <laughs> do that. Uh, do yeah. that. Yeah, that's what it feels like. And I guess it's actually true because I I know that word and I, I use it from time to time and it's like with a lot of power, with schmackes. <laughs> Berlin people, that. that's a really good one. <laughs> Round number two. Now I'm gonna pick one of the little sheets and I chose die Demse. What do you think die Demse it means? Die Demse. It reminds me of die Gemse, which is like an antelope, but I don't think it's the same thing because it doesn't start with G. The Demse. Do you have an idea? The first thing that came to my head was the dense and something dense, but that yeah. doesn't make any sense because that's not, not some English at all. Uh, something with water, some with like a water. water pipe, yeah. I don't know hmm. why. But I think it's something positive. It's like die Demse. I don't know, it's fun or something like ha like that. Like, let's have a lot of Demse today. Halligalli. I don't know, something positive like the fun? I guess, yeah. It should be something more like your direction. All right, let's just Google it. Die Demse. Oh, <laughs> that's really suiting for today. It means thick air or heat when it's like really muggy, you know? Like today, it is really hot and warm and like humid today. It is. So there is a lot of Demse in this room right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Cool, we learned something new, I guess. Yeah. Thank you, Berlin. Round number <clears throat> three. This one. This what is this? Die, die Aule. Aule. Die Aule. Die Aule. Something like <laughs> the same stuff for the Demse. So. I don't know, that sounds like a mixture out of Aula, which is like a school. A school room, a big school room where they have like a theater and stuff like that, and and maul, the mouth in a slang term like that. The, the aula. I would also say the aula is like the the classroom thing. Yeah. The yeah, the classroom basically. But I don't know the why aula. would they make it aula if it's aula? At, I don't know. It sounds kind of negative to me. The aula. It's like a little bit like I, I feel like it's some kind of a thing that you can grab and use for something, you know. Well. Just get the, <laughs> the Aule here. We, we need the Aule or something the like that. The Aule! Quick! The Aule! <laughs> like a surgeon during the surgery. Quick! The Aule! <laughs> I, I have no clue. I think, yeah, I think it's yeah. a thing. Okay, it's a useful tool or item. Yes, that's what I would say. All right, let's find out. <laughs> All right, so it is not that useful. It's a slang term for the snot or the slime. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you basically just ask if somebody could hand you the slime oh. or the snot. Wait a second. <laughs> there you <laughs> <No>. go. <laughs> yeah, that's not useful at all. Good thing we're making this video. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe sometimes there would be misunderstandings when we travel to Berlin. Yes. <laughs> My turn again. I want this one. What is that? Aus Dafke. So out of Dafke. Like out of a feeling, out of something. But what does Dafke mean? 
Dafke. Sounds like Donald Duff. No, I'm Duffy thinking Duck. Thinking about it. Thinking about it. Donald Duff. Dafke. 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 That sounds like a material. Aus Dafke. Yeah. yeah, that could also be. Like uh, Dafke would be would be something related to wood. Yeah, maybe. This is like a type of wood in your in Berlin. In Berlin, <laughs> a type of wood they only have in Berlin. These trees only grow in Berlin. Yeah, they did this out of aus Dafke or something. It's done with. Yeah, well, but I mean, that's a slang term. Would they really have a slang term for a mysterious, mysterious kind of wood? Aus Dafke. It's like aus Jux und Dollerei. That's what I would say. Out of a cheesy mood. All right. Aus Dafke. So out of a cheesy mood. Let's yeah. just Google it like, and try to find it. Why did you undress in the middle of the street? On a sunny, warm summer day. Oh, stuff good. So, yay, I was actually quite close. It means that you do something out of fun without taking it seriously. You know, like, yeah, it's not important, but I want to do it out of out of a mood. Okay, so it's not a material, oh, right? It's not a material. Right. Well, you could say that fun is a material that you make awesome adventures out of. Another insight into the Berlin slang word world. Mm. Let's go for the next one. Dufte. Dufte. I know well, that one. <laughs> what is Dufte? Uh, okay. I know what it means, but you, you know can what it means? still guess. Yeah. What would you say? Dufte is something like something sticky. Something sticky. Yes. What makes you think that? So your skin is Dufte today because of the yes, exactly. thick warm air. <laughs> exactly. Okay, but der Duft, for example, is uh, the nice smell. That's right. actually not helping because it's not at all related to smell, but I find it funny that it sounds like der Duft in German, but Dufte simply means Awesome! Great! Dufte! Knorke! Schnieke! <laughs> there are so many horrible slang words in German for that, and that is just one of them. I feel enlightened now. I'm so curious, what's it gonna be this time? Die Husche! Die Husche! Die Husche sounds funny. I remember my mom saying it sometimes. I don't know why she used Berlin, Berlin slang terms. Really? Oh, so you know what it means then? I think I know what it means. Given that she used it in the right way. I don't know why, but Husch sounds similar to another word that I know in German. Maybe Huschen? Maybe. Is it related to an emotion? I think it's it's like kind of an emotion that you can feel. An emotion? Yeah, like... Uh, I feel Huschy today. <laughs> yeah, something like you feel happy somehow. Like Husche is like you have this uh, warm feeling about something. That's oh, why... I, I'm so in love. I feel verhuscht. <laughs> yeah, something like this. Husche is in the air. How I know it is like the Husche is a quick shower of rain and you basically have to Push into the house. Pushen means like to, to run quickly in German because yeah, otherwise you're gonna get wet. So let's find out. All right, so yes, it is a bit of rain or a bit of snow coming down from the sky. Die Husche. Eine Regenhusche oder eine Schneehusche. Mm, I thought it was a warm feeling. Ich bin in eine Husche geraten. <laughs> but well, I mean, a warm feeling can also feel like a nice summer rain. So you give me a Husche of love every day. Yeah, if the rain is warm enough, why not? <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Choose a good one. Der Piepel. Der Piepel. That sounds like der Popel, which was the booger. <laughs> well, you know, speaking Spanish and all the stuff, you know, I, I feel that this word goes south, you know? If you know it what I mean. It goes south, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it goes south. Der Piepel. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I think it means, yeah. So, yeah, many people have a people down there. Yeah, I would say that people is referring to your intimate parts of okay. guys. So. People sounds like the worst way of saying people in German, like <laughs> with a very strong German accent. I think it's more like a part of a building, like der Wipfel, der, der, like the tower of a church, church or something like that. People. Well, could be. I don't yeah. know. I just want to take this away from this cheesy direction this is heading like i'm just gonna answer a normal answer right. so building part private part building part <laughs> it's just had to laugh so bad because here it says it's either a little boy or penis <laughs> this you is see, so funny so i got it right. right i got you it right, right. Yes. i guess penis is always a safe bet when you have to guess words somehow because someone always uses every kind of word as a slang term for you know yeah. And in, Sp in Spanish, we say pipe for this kind of stuff as okay, well. Okay, so, so yeah. So it's kind of related, you, I guess. You had a clue there. So you were right this time. I bow in front of you. Good job. You got the penis right. Yes. <laughs> Let's go for the next one. And this one. Picheln. 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 Ich pichele, du pichelst. I feel like this goes to 
peeing somehow. <laughs> yeah, it was also my first association. It sounds a lot like pinking. Yeah. Pichin, but uh, I don't know. Pichin is to pee. Just Google it. I eat as well, I, I think. I don't think so. I don't want to believe this. I think it's the opposite. I think it's drinking. Drinking? I think, yeah. To pee, you need to drink. So let's take black and white positions here. All right. I say it's to drink, like beer or maybe alcohol. And you say it's the drink coming out again. Yes. So who's going to be right? Maybe no one. <laughs> maybe something completely <laughs> different. Yeah. But boom, I just googled and I'm right, and I'm right. It means to drink and mostly referring to alcoholic drinks. So, lass uns ein Pichen gehen auf mein wundervollen Sieg in dieser Runde. This is really awesome. I'm learning a lot of awesome stuff. I congratulate you. You got it right. That's uh, quite a good feat. All right, Babbits, I really hope that you enjoyed this little game with us. How well did you do? Did you guess all of these words right? Which one did you struggle with? Which one did you guess right? So that was really cool. I yeah. think that uh, I, think so I got to learn some words uh, from Berlin. I hope that I can manage to use them at some yeah, point. Very insightful. And I hope that you guys also learned uh, something from it. And of course that you managed to guess some of them as well. Do you like it when we play little games like that? Or would you rather see something else on this channel? Please let us know in the comments. Which other German city or also country has amazing slang terms as well that you would like to see us guess? We are open to your suggestions and we had a lot of fun. Now, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up because that would make Eric and me really, really happy. You can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook and here, right next to Eric's head, is a video that you should definitely check out as well. Subscribe to Don't Trust the Rabbit for more content like this. And if you want to support my channel even more, you can also find me on Patreon. Your support there would mean so, so much to me. Now I wish you all a very beautiful day. Check out my other videos if you'd like to, and hopefully we are going to see each other in my next one. Bye. Bye.